Now it's been blessed by the FAA. An airplane that lands itself in an emergency just received FAA certification. First out of the box with a certificated auto land system is the Piper M600 SLS. It's a big leap forward in safety technology, but now it's certified. I think that this is a this is a revolutionary product in that it takes so many of the features that have been developed over the past uh, number of years as we've gotten into glass panel displays and digital autopilots and things that really enhance safety um, to include level mode and, and emergency descent mode and some of the other things that are um, inherent in the system prior to this. It kind of pulls it all together into a an autonomous system that now uses all of those uh, all of those uh, inputs to really make a, a safety benefit uh, to the to the customer. And what a safety benefit it is. If the Garmin system detects that the pilot is no longer responsive or a passenger pushes the auto land button, the system flies to the nearest suitable airport while avoiding bad weather. It tells ATC and nearby pilots and it tells the passengers what's happening. Emergency Auto Land activated. The Emergency Auto Land system is controlling the aircraft and will land at the safest nearby airport. Please remain calm. Avoid touching the flight controls which may interfere with Auto Land. Your destination is shown on the bottom of the left and right displays. Your estimated time to landing is shown on the top of all three displays. Emergency Auto Land has already informed air traffic control of your situation. It shoots the approach, stops the aircraft, shuts off the engine, asks the passengers to exit the aircraft, and the Garmin system is expected to be certified later this year in the Cirrus Vision Jet and the TBM 940. And you may wonder, what's it like to be a test pilot on such an aircraft? Typically, a, a test pilot um, has to do a lot of um, um, good hand flying and, and so forth to, to actually get kudos for doing a good job. But this is the first program that I've ever worked on at any company where you get kudos for doing absolutely nothing. You can see my full interview with the Piper Test Pilots on our YouTube channel. So Alyssa, um, I, I flew it a couple times last year, the Autoland system uh, with Garmin, once in the M um, 600 SLS and uh, later in a Cirrus Vision Jet. And uh, you may recall from reporting back then that it is just an astounding system and, and incredible how it takes into consideration the needs of the passengers and keeps them informed as well as doing all the other stuff it needs to do to pick a perfect runway that's got the right length, the right crosswind component, and, and all that sort of thing. So it's a very impressive technology they've got out there. Yeah, and you know, incredible that that is coming to general aviation now. Right. Yeah, it can't be that far away that we can actually use it on a bit more of a day-to-day -day basis, but for now, for emergencies only, for mostly for pilot incapacitation.